What's up guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to talk about something that I find is so common in the infertility journey and that is trying to live a lower toxic lifestyle. Now, there are so many toxins out there, so many chemicals that affect our hormones, our health. This is something that I've personally seen time and time again with women who go through any kind of infertility. You really start to hone in on things that could be affecting your health. And there's so many different lifestyle factors that contribute to that. So I kind of just wanted to touch on a few things that I found helpful personally when I started to incorporate lower tox products. Now, I was already transitioning to different things that had less chemicals uh, even before. So this past January is when I really started to look at all of the stuff that we have in our home, cleaning products, beauty products. We as women wear so many different chemicals throughout the day without even realizing it. You know, from makeup to hair stuff and body products, lotions, so many different things. So many things to the point where it can be incredibly overwhelming. So my first piece of advice, if you are looking to lower the toxic products that are in your household, do not do everything at once. It is a process. Um, I'm still figuring things out and still slowly you know, cleaning up products that we're finishing, slowly bringing in new products, because if you try to tackle everything in the beginning from day one, it's incredibly overwhelming and it's just gonna make you even more stressed, which defeats the purpose. I do also wanna mention, if you are looking to decrease the toxic products in your home, do not go crazy over every single little ingredient. If you start analyzing every ingredient piece by piece in every single product, you will drive yourself insane. Trust me, I say this from experience. It's not possible to completely eliminate everything that could be even considered a toxin. You know, it's going to surround us from a day-to-day -day basis. I think it's just important to do the best you can. There are certain things that I am not even willing to give up, even though I know they might not be the best for me. So finding that balance, finding that 80-20 uh, kind of rule, I would say, is really going to help you figure out what's important to you and what's not. So the very first thing I switched out before I even was on this journey was my deodorant. Now, we all know if deodorant has aluminum that can be incredibly toxic, it blocks out sweat. So if you're using an antiperspirant deodorant, yes, it blocks sweat, yes, that's awesome, and I miss it, but when you're blocking those sweat glands, you're blocking the lymph nodes, you're not letting your body detox the way that it's supposed to. So finding a good deodorant is super important. I was using Native for a while. Uh, unfortunately, they were bought out by a pharmaceutical company and I didn't like how it was working for me anymore. So I eventually switched to Loom, L-U-M-E. And I've been loving their deodorant. It's kind of an all body deodorant. I only use it for my underarms, but it is there for that option if you need it. When it comes to odor and having a deodorant work for you, it's also important to look at what you're eating. So be, that odor comes from your body detoxing itself. It's trying to release toxins. So decreasing toxic load through your food, through your everyday activities will very much help any body odor that your natural deodorant might not be covering up. The second thing that we switched was toothpaste. Now, this is not necessarily the cleanest brand at the moment. I am looking into other brands and looking a little further into the ingredients of different brands because toothpaste is something that you are very likely to ingest because you are putting it into your mouth. So you're not necessarily rinsing all of it. So toothpaste to me is super important to be as clean as possible. And the number one priority for me when I was switching my toothpaste was to make sure that it was fluoride free. That is so crazy to me that toothpaste has fluoride and I remember drinking water as a child that had fluoride in it and it was being marketed as something that's good for you. Fluoride is not good for you. It is not good to be ingested. It messes with your bodily functions and I would highly recommend against it. But switching out that fluoride was super important for me. So I just purchased what was the best in my mind at the moment. And that was the Toms of Maine. That's not a bad toothpaste. I'm just looking for something a little more cleaner once we finish out what we have. The next thing that was super important for me to change, again, it has to do with possibly ingesting it, was our dishwasher pods. So I first tried the Molly Suds dishwasher pods because I was using the Cascade or the Platinum, some kind of pods before that. So it was something that I was accustomed to. So I just wanted something similar to that, just a cleaner option. And Maui Suds wasn't bad, 
I do feel though there was one or two times where you know these pods are technically plastic with something inside and I don't know if this is my dishwasher or the product itself but the plastic that it comes in melted and I kind of saw a piece of it in the dishwasher and it, it freaked me out a little bit. So the shipping was also bothering me. It took them way too long to ship it. Wasn't crazy about that. I did also try their laundry detergent. So the laundry detergent was the next thing that I made a switch to. Laundry detergent is what you're washing your clothes with and your clothes are on your body all day. So it was really important for me to find an option where the ingredients were clean, but the clothes were still actually being washed, which is very hard to do at the same time, apparently. I had tried the Molly Suds pods first and I tried the Molly Suds washing um, powder. So they didn't have the liquid detergent for when I was ordering it. It was out of stock, stock for a little bit, but the powder was okay. The pods were okay, nothing against it. But then I eventually found Truly Free. The Truly Free detergent is my favorite. It has that natural smell. It has like a lavender eucalyptus smell and it actually cleans your clothes. It's really cool that it comes in these little packets and you have a reusable jug so there's no you know, waste of plastic or whatnot. They just ship you new packages of the powder and you mix it with water and there's your you know, water detergent. And when they had a sale of complimentary dishwasher soap for, it was some kind of promotion that they had, they sent some dishwasher powder. Now these were not pods. This actually comes in straight powder form and I've never used anything like that. I've always just been accustomed to the pods. And I actually like it better than Molly Suds. It doesn't leave any residue as much as Molly Suds. It doesn't leave that, you know, the backsplash, those water droplets. And I really love having one company where I can buy multiple products from. So because I was obsessed with their laundry detergent and I was able to try their dishwasher powder and I liked it, I'm able to order those things together so I don't have to order from different companies. So those are the first four things that I started with when I was looking for lower toxic options in terms of products. I am constantly figuring out what else I can change. Like I said, it's a work in progress. You know, I'm looking into cleaner makeup options. I already have a cleaner shampoo. There's a lot of other things that I've already made the switch to for cleaner products, but those are the main four things that I think had a massive effect on my health. Things that are possibly ingested, things that are sitting on your skin all day, every day. I think those are the, the key things to, to change. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you're interested to hear about my other clean option swaps. 